So, one router here, and uh, this is almost complete. Uh, this is the uh, Trek 4300, and um, I've got the shifting set up just where I want it. Basically, the only thing I have to do is, uh, the headset's kind of hodgepodge. I want to replace that with a better one. Um, that's going to wait till I have some, some long read in the pocket. Uh, and then new cranks and bottom brackets, same thing. I have a pair of pedals that are pretty cool, but... Uh, it doesn't make sense to replace these until I have the, the cranks on there. So uh, that can wait. And these actually, these aren't bad pedals. Uh, you know, they're functional. They are metal, I think. Um, well, the pegs are metal. The pedals are, I believe they actually are aluminum. So uh, if I can clean those up, I mean, they do spin pretty good. They're a little small, uh, but, you know. Uh, I do want to, like I said, replace the bottom bracket and the cranks. I got the front shifter to work. I had, of course, a matched pair of SRAM, but um, the the bolt, the the pinch bolt broke on the uh, the um, SRAM X7 for the front, and the the X7 never really worked all that great with it anyway, because the front derailleur is a Diore, uh, whereas everything else is the SRAM X7. So what I, I what I did is I put a thumb shifter up here. Uh, set to friction shift and that operates the, the front derailleur and it really honestly I really like how it works um, the the olden days a lot of what we would do is put uh, either it would have an index non-index shifter on the front or we would we would put one on there and even if it did have um, index shifting it often had little micro positions so you could fine-tune your your derailleur position so you didn't get chain rub and odd gearing in the back um this i don't know it's just a setup i'm familiar with and uh that i actually like so i may leave it i obviously would like to get a better quality thumb shifter this is a you know half plastic suntour accushrift so it's not anything great um but uh yeah the the, the shifter setup is basically where i want it um I just like I said, I'd like to replace these cheapo cranks. They're really heavy. They're 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 nothing special. Uh, but beyond that, uh, the bike is pretty much done. You know, I'd like like I said, like new cranks, like like a new headset. But other than that, it's pretty much where I want it to be. Now, the as far as the slippage of the seat post, I, I think I mentioned this when I talked about this before. The uh, the issue was either the the tolerance in terms of fit or uh, it may have actually been simply that the, the bolt on the uh, quick release here wasn't greased. Um, I did tighten it. The, the nut on the far side actually has uh, an Allen key recess. So after tightening it and closing this, I just put an Allen key in there and gave it an extra quarter turn. And it's been fine ever since. I actually marked this uh, with a little bit of paint just to, just to see if it was going to slip. It didn't slip. Uh, even when I was, uh, I, I use this to do errands uh, today. I came back with a, a backpack full of stuff that had to be close to 30 pounds in addition to my own weight. And um, coming home, I, when I was coming over to train tracks, I got about, you know, a foot or so of air. <laughs> and um, yeah, the, the seat post is not moving. So uh, the, the slippage problem looks like it's been solved. But uh, yeah, this, the setup on this is basically where I want it. So everything is good to go. Um, and uh, yeah, if only it wasn't raining, I'd go back outside for a ride. I got a little bit of saddle timing on this bike today, but not much. And I haven't really done any actual off-road riding on it because it's been so rainy. I'm waiting for the woods to, to you know, dry up. But setup is pretty much exactly where I want it to be. And um, yeah, it's, it's come along pretty good. It's uh, you know, it's not actually what I thought it would be. I, I kind of anticipated having, you know, full SRAM, and then I saw the group, and well, that's a Diore, and then when the when the other shifter broke, I was really disappointed. But actually, uh, I, I like the setup of having the uh, the friction the friction shift thumb lever for the front. So uh, there you go. It's it's come along pretty good. All rider out.